So there was a man that went into a Houston bank, actually a Wood Forest National Bank on uh, 9700 Hillcroft Avenue on July the 8th. So when he went in there, he had slipped a note to the teller at the time period. And what got people, you know, to talk about this most so was on the note itself. It wasn't your average bank robbery um, that you would see. So on the note itself, it says, I didn't get a stimulus or that $10,000 loan. It says, I lost my business to COVID. It says, so please make this easy and comply. I don't want to hurt in nobody, but will if I have to, uh, any suspicious moves, I will start shooting. So please go get my money. And say, don't make anything noticeable. Now they said he ended up, you know, leaving after he get what he wanted. Um, he didn't hurt anyone uh, at all. Uh, but this story, you know, is really going around Houston and, and definitely making headlines. Uh, what happened now, of course the police is looking for him, but in a situation like that, it, it makes it kind of like, uh, you know, it's like he didn't hurt nobody. He didn't shoot nobody, uh, at all. But you know, there's a lot of people in this situation right now, uh, where they not having money. Now, do I advocate people just going robbing banks? No, I don't advocate that, but I'm just saying that this government has been failing a lot of people and you know, they're set to run out that unemployment $600. Um, by the end of the month. And you know, I heard Trump saying that he don't want to renew that because that's holding people from going back to work. And I've heard people say that, that they don't want to go back to work until they are kind of forced to, because they're making more sit at home than they are, um, going to work. But then economists has also been saying if they end the $600 is really going to hurt the economy. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy, but you know, I saw a story as well. I was reading the USA Today where well, you had a family and like I say, this is touching everybody. It ain't just touching black folks. That's for sure. It was a white family and it was talking about how, uh, the, the, the man, he had, he had got hurt before Corona. Uh, he was a landscaper, but then he, you know, got back and ready to go back to work. Then Corona happened. Everything started shutting down. Uh, the wife was basically furloughed. Uh, so they didn't have any all you know, money coming in, you know, I think they live in Florida. They didn't even get the unemployment yet. So they had to pawn their TVs, their kids, video game systems. The woman had to end up in, even in pawning her ring, um, from the, and everything. So they're saying they don't know how they're going to make it. And it's a lot of people with that story right now. So, you know, poverty you know, it do creates, you know, crime or desperation can create crime. And this government need to get the act together. They really do. Um, because this is, you know, it's sad that you got a man that say he had a business and because of COVID and he didn't get no loan, he didn't get a stimulus. And now he felt that he was just desperate. He had to go rob a bank and put his freedom on the line. I mean, that's man, that's messed up. I mean, I, it, I don't advocate this, you know, stealing and doing all that, but you know, I mean, this situation, I, I can't really, I can't really advocate that, uh, that he go to jail at this point. I really can't as long as he didn't hurt nobody, which he didn't. I mean, shoot, these banks and then took enough money from people. They just call it, just call it a, a loan. I mean, let's, let's call it charity or something, you know, for, for that time period. Cause right now the, the banks are hoarding money right now cause they feel that a bunch of uh, people going to default on their loans, but I don't know. Let me know what you think about this story. You know, with, with this, you know, particular brother, I mean, do you believe that he should go to jail, you know, in this pandemic, or do you think that, uh, he should, you know, they should let him make it because he actually didn't hurt anybody.